Hi guys! So today is a very special day because we hit the 200 subscribers! And I know for some of you 200 might not be a huge number but for me it is because this is the first time I ever started a YouTube channel and I think if I imagine 200 people sitting here <laughs> around me and watching me doing shit then this is a very huge thing so thanks for every single one of you who's watching this and who gives me thumbs up and who subscribe to my channel and I'm really happy about you guys being here Quinn is too because he's now down there doing stuff that dogs do. So for this special day I've decided to make a video about my current favorite children's books and um, which actually means my current favorite children's books illustrators. <laughs> so yes, I hope you're gonna like them too. So let's get this going. So the first illustrator I wanted to show you is um, Nina Dulek. Unfortunately, there's no name up on this book, but I'm going to leave all the information slash her homepage on in the description down there so you can check it out. And I really like um, her style of illustrating and how she uses colors and also how she uses, you know, white within the illustrations because that's sometimes a thing I, I'm really bad at. I'm really bad at just leaving white spaces and um, she does that in a really, really great way. Yes, I'm not gonna go through the full book because this would take forever then, but um, yes. Nina Dolek, a German illustrator. I really like her. This one's called Alexandra Ball and she's got a very, very cute style and I really like how she uses um, kind of structures in the background, if you can see this. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see it, but yeah, like the textures and everything. It's something very special about her. And also, yeah, her style is really cute and lovely. I'm just gonna show a few of them. So as you can see, there's not always many, many things on the pages, but that's a very good thing, especially for, for children's books, because then it's not too confusing for them. So they only have like one thing they really can look at and maybe a few things to find. <laughs> yes, I really like what she's doing. Alexandra Ball. Next one is... Jim Field. I really love Jim Field. I also follow him on Instagram. Oh, by the way, I also follow Alexandra Ball on Instagram. And um, what I like about Jim Field is also his style of illustrating and how he uses... Um, I'm not sure if he's actually working, working digitally or if it's... Um, oh no, the battery's empty. I hope I can go on till the end. We'll see about that. Um, if he's working digitally or not, I can't tell at all. But yeah, he also likes to use his white spaces in between. And it's really cool. I love him. Next one is Joelle Tolonias. Joelle Tolonias is also a German illustrator and she's a friend of mine. And I'm really proud that I can say that. <laughs> and she's really helping me out a lot. She's giving me tips and um, yes, I'm really thankful for her to be there for me. And I really love how she uses colors. She's like really, really good at colors. So this is my favorite book I think of her. As you can see, there's like not every single color on the planet here. There's only like blues and greens and oranges and yellows. And um, I really love how she uses these kind of combinations and she uses them throughout the book then so that's really lovely 
Lovely. Love her too. Joelle Tolonias. The next one is Barbara Scholz. She's also a German illustrator. And what I like about her is that she actually has very funny characters, I think. Like, if you look at those kids' faces, to me they really look funny. <laughs> and cute, of course, too. But um, Just wanted to show you one. She's a person, she uses many, many details at some points. And you can really find many funny things. And especially in this book, it's about this little um, chameleon. I don't know how you call this in English, but I hope you know what I mean. Uh, it's this kind of thingy. <laughs> and she um, hides this little creature within every single picture. It's somewhere, for example, here. It's hidden there. I love that. So, Barbara Scholz, one of my favorites. Another favorite is David Roberts. I need to say that I wouldn't have gone for this cover actually, um, but my mom bought me this book because she looked inside it and um, she didn't even know that I'm a fan of David Roberts, but she gave it to me because she said, uh, I think this book suits you very well, Alex. <laughs> so, yes, thanks, mom. And yes, I really, really love David Roberts. He has this really unique style, and um, also many white spaces in this book, which I like. And also very many details he uses, and very funny kind of creatures. Love this. Love this. And especially those pirates. <laughs> you look at them. Ah, so lovely. You need to buy this book, it's really good. Um, yes, David Roberts is one of my favorites as well. Love him. Okay, here we go. Another German illustrator. He's called uh, Daniel Knapp. And I met him this year in April in Bologna at the book fair. He's a really nice guy as well. And he also writes his books, not this one though, but he also has um, books called uh, Dr. Brum. And they are really, really funny picture books as well. So definitely check him out. And what I like about him, he's, um, he doesn't work digitally. And I really like how he uses the colors and it kind of has um, a very loose style, you know, like very, hey, you should if you know what I mean. And um, yes, I'm very jealous of this kind of working because I can't do this at all. But I might need to work on it too. But yes, really nice illustrator as well. And then, one of my favorites as well um, is Julia Sarda. Some of you might know her already, or maybe even the other illustrators, but um, I really like her style and she really uses very special colors. Like, um, I want to show you a picture, for example. Mm, where is this one? It's up here. Her colors are actually kind of dark, if you know what I mean. So it's not for the typical um, children's picture books. But um, I think she really, really knows how to use colors in a really great way. And she's also a fan of small details. And I really like the textures in her pictures and how she puts the plants up front and everything. Yeah, it's really gorgeous and you definitely have to check her out. She also has a blog, I think. And um, yes. Oh, and there's also another illustrator I'm a big, big fan of, but I don't have a picture book or any kind of book of her yet. But her name is Rebecca Green. I'll also put a link down in the description. The, the description. And um, yeah, please let me know what you think about these books and these kind of styles. And if you have any questions, then leave them down below in the comment section. And um, 
yes, I just can say thank you for every single one of you. I'm really happy that you're here with me. And yes, I'm trying to load up videos more often. I'm, I know I'm very bad at that, but sometimes other things are more important, but uh, you know, I'm gonna try, I try my best. Oh, and I'm also going to, um, or on vacation with my mom next week. So please let me know if you wanna see that, if I should vlog this or um, what you wanna see. Just let me know. So bye and thanks for watching.